Hello everyone and welcome to my channel and today I'll be reading Rengoku Existener by me. So let's get into it. Rengoku was a very empathetic person. So being in a relationship with him made things easy most of the time. In fact, it was not difficult by any means. And most of the time he was truly gentle with you. And tried his best to learn what to do and what he wanted just to make things a lot easier on you. To him, it was the least that his partner deserved. So, being nice and kind was the least that anyone could do, especially if they are in a loving relationship, which is what he believes your relationship to be and embody. However, maybe there were some things that he was, well, unsure of. That was the only way he could put it. There were some things that made you scared, that he did, and he couldn't really understand why. Sometimes, he would flinch when he talked to you. Sometimes, when he was just coming to sit next to you, he would flinch away for a moment before calming down. And he really didn't know how to make it stop. It wasn't like he was going to be able to read your mind. And most of all, he wanted to understand why that happened in the first place. So, after a lot of hesitation, and a lot of confusion, on just why this was happening, he decided that, in the end, there was no other way around it. He had to talk to you and ask you the questions in his mind. You were not going to be able to read it, of course, and he was not going to just sit around and wait for you to suffer alone like this. He had to know... Just what exactly was bothering you, and why you were scared of him at some random times. He didn't want to be a source of fear to you. He only wanted to make you feel safe and loved. And anything against that was something he would never like. Which was really adorable, and it really showed you just how much he cared about you. But this conversation only became more imminent when one day he was slightly upset, slightly angry at something. He never meant to direct that anger at you and he was not really doing that, but you could even see it in his attitude and the way he was behaving. He was angry and you were afraid. You've had trauma from people acting like this towards you. It was scary behavior. Not to mention, Rengaku was a strong and powerful and big guy. So, with that anger being in him, it scared you. No matter how much you trusted him, you couldn't wipe the fear off of your heart. Or your face, for that matter. Because when he went towards you, you immediately flinched away. He looked at you in complete confusion trying to understand what he did wrong. Wait, why on? Oh, I'm, I'm really sorry I didn't mean to scare you. I don't understand, really. Please, I was not going to do anything, you know that. He said. He wasn't yelling at you. His voice was just a little bit louder than usual, and he seemed to be a lot more angry in his movements. But beside that, there was no ill intention, and he never ever once even thought to hurt you in any way that would be physical. It would disgust him, really, and he never wanted that to happen. So, as the two of you stared back at one another, he could only wonder just what was going on in your head, and why you were so afraid. Leon, you'll be fine, I promise. He said, and you just sighed softly. Look, I just, I can't. I'm so scared sometimes, and I know I don't mean it, but sometimes your voice scares me. Sometimes you're moving too fast. Sometimes you're just too loud, and I, I know it's not your fault. I know it's just you being you, but I can't help it. You say, and it was like a downpouring out. You told him everything you were afraid of. 
and Rengaku, ever patient and gentle, stood there and listened. And once he was sure you were done, he walked towards you slowly, making sure not to startle you this time, and opened his arms for you to go into them. And immediately you did just that, crying into his arms. And he just held you, letting you pour it all out. He didn't want you to stress yourself out, to be upset, to be scared. He never wanted to be a source of fear. So he was more than happy that you felt like you could be brave enough to confront him, to tell him what you were afraid of. Even if that meant he would have to do things a little bit more differently. Maybe yell a little bit less. Maybe just be a little bit quieter. Move slower. And be a little bit more gentle in his movements. All adjustments that would take time and conscious effort to change his own very habits. But if it meant he would flinch just a little bit less, if it meant he would smile just a little bit more, that he would feel safer and less afraid, even if he was not really the root cause of the issue, he would do it. He would do anything if he's sure that it would wipe off a frown on your face. He would never want you to be sad, and he would do anything to ensure that. Well, please promise me one thing. You looked up at him, tilting your head, and you caressed your cheek gently as he spoke. If you feel like you want to tell me something in the future, and you're hesitating, just know that no matter what it is, no matter how ridiculous it sounds to you, I'll listen to it. And I'll try my best to make you happy. So please, don't ever hesitate. We can't have that between us, okay? I love you. I truly do. He said, and it blushed brightly, closing your eyes as you wrapped your arms around him gently. And he just held you close, his hands running through your hair. He was happy that I at least knew what was going on now and would not be left wondering alone anymore. His questions were answered and his fears were gone. And hopefully, soon, yours would be too.